Hi, I'm just about to go through this question that says um, the logical connective. So I got this question, um, the logical question connective and not and written NAND. Denoted by F is false precisely when P and Q are both true. And then it says in brackets, it is the negation of P and Q. The question asks, show that the logical construction P or Q can be written solely in terms of NANDs. Okay, I got this question from uh, part A of the D Math 137 at Macquarie Uni. Question 1C Part 2. Actually, it may, really, it may help to have done Part 1, but I, I, my version of this uh, PDF, I couldn't actually read Part 1. So, But I think you probably can do it without Part 1. Um, or you'll just end up redoing Part 1 as part of this. So. Um, not and is precisely the same as the negation of P and Q. So, um, so let's think about this. What what is what is NAND exactly? So NAND is defined to be F of P and Q is equal to the negation of P and Q. Okay, and there was a rule that told us how to take these negations. Um, remember, it was something like not P, the negation of P, or negation of Q. Okay. So from this, you can see that um, um, if you just replace P by the negation of P and Q by the negation of Q, you get that um, equals P or Q. So in this way, you can express um, the P or Q construction in, entirely in terms of um, NANDs and negations. And um, you could go further, I suppose, because um, a negation could also be expressed in terms of NAND because um, the negation of P could be expressed as um, the negation of P and true. So I'll use the letter T for true. I'll just write the word true.
Okay, so the negation of p is actually equal to NAND of p and true. And in that case, then, um, like, expressing p or q strictly in terms of NANDs would be um, f of... And we want to write the negation of p and the negation of q, but that's this. So f of p. Oh, okay, I am going to write the letter t. I'm going to run a space. So this is t. t, okay. So f p t, comma, f q. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, just depending on to the answer, um, I saw another printout of the question and they didn't use the letter F, they actually used a, a dagger symbol. So, um, if instead of F, we have, um, you know, so instead of f of p and q, we have p dagger q. Okay, then, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward uh, exercise to change the notation. And then the, the answer will be p or q equals, so... P dagger true dagger um, Q dagger true. Okay. 